Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this nice looking letterhead inside Microsoft Word. So let's get started. I will start in a blank new document and we'll start with those wavy shapes. But instead of drawing those inside Microsoft Word, I will jump into the web page, which is called getwaves.io, which is a simple web page for generating waves. Now I have a few different ways how to generate the wave. It could be a wavy one, a square one, or a triangle one. I will go with the wavy one. It could be from the bottom or from the top. I can set the color, the opacity, as well as the number of waves. I will most likely go with the default number of waves. So I'll just uh, refresh this button, get the wave from the top like so. And then I will click this dice button to get different kind of shapes. And when I like the shape, I will click this button and select download SVG file, which will download me the SVG file into the, into the downloads folder. Now I need maybe four or five different shapes. So I'll just keep clicking this dice button until I see something that I like, click the download SVG and I will do it one more time or a few more times so I can have a few more waves to choose from, like again, five, four, or maybe six, or maybe just four. It's up to you, whatever works for you the best. Now, I think I'm fine with all those little shapes. So I will jump to Microsoft Word and I will select insert picture from this device. And I have few different shapes in my download folder. So let's like insert and you can see I have those in my document. Now they are placed inside a text so I cannot move those. And also they are just graphics. So if they are not shapes, if I right click and select format graphics, you will see I have a limited number of options for the fill and I want to use a gradient fill. So I have to first convert this graphics into the shape by clicking this convert to shape button in the graphics for my ribbon. So I'll click convert to shape for all those individual shapes. I have to do this manually for every single one. And then I want to be able to move those freely. So to do so, I'll right click and select wrap text in front of behind or behind the text. It doesn't matter that much, which I which I choose because I will not have any text, you know, behind or in front of the header. So I will just go to the wrap text, behind text. I will do this for every single one. So behind text, this one should be behind the text as well. This one again, behind text and the last one again wrap text behind text. Now I can move those freely. So I want to select all of those by clicking on them with the control key pressed on my keyboard. Then I will go to shape format and align them properly. So in the align, I will select align center and align top. So they are now positioned in front of each other. And I can probably just scale those so they are and with the shift key pressed and I've, you know, deselect those. So I'll select select selection pane, make sure everything is selected. And with my shift key pressed, I'll just scale those to fill the top of the page. Now it looks like a mess because, you know, they are just plain color. But if I right click and select format object, I can increase the transparency and it will start seeing something happening. Now, before I go to defining the colors, I will jump into the design ribbon and set the right color palette. I believe I was using like blue warm in this case, but you can of course choose whatever you feel like works the best for your case in your case. Okay, so blue warm it is it. I will zoom in so I can I can see it better. And what I want to do is I want to define the gradient which goes from top to bottom. So in the top it's like very obvious, the color is very bold and it's almost transparent on the bottom. So I will go with the gradient fill and you know maybe go with like the blue to blue color, like set the blue for both gradient stops. Get rid of this one by clicking this remove gradient or just by dragging this outside of the gradient like so. And the one should be like full transparent. So transparency is set to 100% and the other one should be set to zero. You can see it is the other way around. So what I can do is I can rotate this to be, it will be 270. Okay, so to test 270 is the right number and I will select the selection pane and just select individual graphics and change the color slightly. So I'll select the first one and maybe instead of this blue one, I will maybe select this, you know, maybe the, the pink one or more to the blue one. And, you know, just give a little bit of variation and maybe for this top level, you know, top gradient stuff, I'll just, I'll just increase the transparency slightly as well. So select the next one, which is maybe this one. And again, made some small adjustment. Maybe I don't need to adjust, make adjustments to this one. Give it a little bit of, you know, variations. And maybe you don't see my drop down menu. So if I just set this and move it out of the tab, you will be able to see it more clearly what I'm doing. So I'm just trying to find a different colors, mix those together with my blue ones to get a little bit of different use. And you will see in a minute that it makes a big difference. Obviously you can play with those colors as long as you want. And I will probably not be able to create something nice looking in those five minutes, but you have to trust me that the more time you spend, the more you can you know, create something that you will like. Maybe this is too dark. So I'll go with this violet instead for both the gradient stops. And that should give us this you know, slightly violet look. And this one is probably too bold. So this one should be a little bit more transparent for both the stops. 
Okay, and I quite like the result. So we have a nice looking wavy part of our document. The thing is, if I start typing, you can see it just goes like over the waves. So what we want to do is we want to adjust the margins. So I'll go to the layout margins and select custom margins and set the tab one to be a little bit bigger, maybe like 1.5 inches. Let's see what it, this looks like. And unfortunately, everything moved together with the text as well. So I'll select everything and press the up arrow key on my keyboard to move it to the top like so. And if I'm when I have everything selected, I will most likely jump to the shape format and also group everything together. So select group, group. And now I can start typing and you can see it's no more, you know, going over the top header. The thing is, is I, if I start uh, pressing the enter key, you know, sometimes the images might move as well. So if you want to avoid this, we can do it in two different ways. The first thing is we'll right click and select more layout options and uncheck this move object with text checkbox. So now it shouldn't move. The other way is to move this into the header. So I can just cut this group by clicking this cut group. Uh, cut button, double click this tab space to jump into the header and just paste it. So click the paste, position it properly like so and double click outside. So now everything is in the header. I don't quite like this solution very much because when you are in the editing mode, you don't see the right colors. You know, obviously if you jump to the print preview, so file print, you will be able to see how the colors looks like. But unfortunately, you know, in the normal editing mode, everything is a little bit faded. So I would most likely prefer to just not have it in the header and just have it in there. It's not moving you the text. It should work just perfectly fine. And that's it. That's how you create a nice looking header or letterhead inside Microsoft Word. Bye.